Hi, my name is David Myers, and from 2006 until 2009, I worked in the White House for George W. Bush, and I later worked for Republicans in the U.S. Senate. But this year, I will be very proudly supporting Joe Biden for president, and that is because I am shocked, I am sad, and I am disgusted by what has happened to the Republican Party over the last four and over the last 12 years. The Republican Party was founded in opposition to slavery, but now we have a president who retweets white power videos and said there are good people on both sides when one of those sides is marching through the streets chanting blacks, Jews, and minorities will not replace us. We were the party that stood for freedom abroad in places like the Soviet Union, and now not only have we stopped fighting for that, but we are using some of those very same tactics in our own country against our own people. We were the party that supported the military, but now Donald Trump is allowing Russia to put bounties on the heads of American servicemen because he is choosing to believe Vladimir Putin over our own intelligence officials. There are men, Republican military officials, General James Mattis, Michael Hayden, Admiral Mike Mullen, people who risked their lives for this country, who spent their whole lives defending this country, and Donald Trump attacks them as idiots and liars, even though he dodged the draft by claiming he had bone spurs in his feet. We, we were the party of competent governance. Now, 150,000 people have died from the coronavirus through Trump's total mismanagement. We have been banned but all, from all but 20 countries in the world. No one wants us. America has gone from a guiding light of the world to the embarrassment of the world. We were the party of morality, and now we have a president who demeans women, who attacks people with disabilities, who uses language that if you used it in your everyday life, you would be fired from your job or kicked out of school. And I just have to ask, is this the country you want to live in? Is this the country you want to leave for your children and grandchildren? And for me, it's not. And that's why I think we have to speak out. If we don't agree with what is happening, we have to speak out because that is how Donald Trump has thrived. Good people, decent people, people who know better have stayed silent for a variety of reasons. They, they didn't want to buck the, the political trends. They were worried about their career, their jobs, and that's not enough anymore. That is how Donald Trump has thrived. If you don't agree with what is happening, if you know in your heart that it is wrong, that this is not a moral man, that this is not a man we want to set as an example for our children and grandchildren, he's, he's disputing the results of an election three months before they happen. He's tried to postpone the election. That is something that has never happened in 250 years. Do you want to live in a country where politicians can just come in and, and challenge and delay elections like in tin pot dictatorships around the world? Well, if not, we need to speak out. We need to take action, and we need to vote Donald Trump out in November. This election is not about Democrat or Republican. It is about American survival or not. So I please urge you to do what you know is right deep down in your heart what your morals are telling you, what your values are telling you, and vote Donald Trump out of office on November 3rd. Join the growing number of Republicans and former Republicans like me who are going to put our country first on November 3rd. Thanks a lot.